Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to the last topic of Form 1 that is Sales and Simple Circuit. This topic sometimes is called Current Electricity 1 because we have Current Electricity 2 in Form 3. So in this topic we'll measure our discussion mainly on current or electric current. And here we are going to begin from the introduction to Sales and Simple Circuit. Then we'll move down and discuss current and how to measure current and even calculate current. Then we are going to talk about types of current where we'll have direct current and alternating current. Then later we'll talk about sources of electric current where we'll talk about the solar, but we'll measure our discussion on chemical sources. And then chemical sources we're going to split it into two where we will have primary sources where we'll have something like a simple cell and dry cells. Then we'll later discuss secondary cells where we'll talk about accumulators like lead acid accumulators and nickel uh, alkaline accumulators. Then finally, we will discuss the maintenance and the capacity of accumulators. But for the purpose of this lesson, we will just discuss introduction to cells and simple circuit where we will measure our discussion on conductors and initiators of electricity. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson and the topic as whole. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to briefly describe this topic in simple terms, that is the introduction part. Then later you talk about conductors and why conductors conduct electricity. Then we are going to talk about insulators. Now, since our topic is based on electricity, I am convinced that almost all of us acknowledge the good work that electrical energy plays in our daily life, right from lighting, heating, and operating electronic devices like TVs, computers, high-speed trains, even the ICU bed conditions are maintained using electrical energy. Even the watches that we use, mobile phones, they use electrical energy. So this electrical energy is carried through conductors like wires. And in the next part, we want to discuss which materials are able to conduct electricity and which one are not able to conduct electricity. So based on electrical conductivity, matter can be classified into two main categories, that is conductors and insulators. So we have conductors and insulators insulators and in this case the state of matter which has high number of conductors is solids solids and some liquids like solutions then gases lies under insulators most gases are insulators in, in fact all gases are insulators and also most liquids most liquids are also insulators so in under conductors we have uh, all metals are good conductors, all metals, all metals are good conductors and examples of metals in this case is copper, we have silver, we have aluminium, we have magnesium and all other metals that you know. So we also have nanometals which also conduct electricity. So nanometals, nanometals that can be able to conduct electricity example in this case we have graphite. Graphite is carbon, but uh, it's an allotrope of carbon that we are going to discuss later in chemistry, but it is able to conduct electricity because during bonding, one electron is left which can move and conduct electricity. And then we have liquids which can also conduct electricity. Some of these liquids which can conduct electricity, we call them uh, electrolytes. We have what we call electrolytes. Electrolytes, these are solutions. Solutions all molten state of most salts. When salts are in molten state, they can move and conduct electricity. So in this case, examples of electrolytes that we have here, we have substances like sodium uh, chloride solution, sodium chloride solution, then we have potassium hydroxide solution and many, many others. So the liquids which conduct electricity, they have a special name that we have just mentioned. They are called electrolytes. For solids, they conduct electricity because of free electrons. These solids or these metals, they have what we call free electrons. 
in the outermost energy level of the atoms. Remember, in the particular nature of matter, we said matter is made up of very small particles, and those small particles are called atoms that we discussed in electrostatics. Now, the outermost energy level of those atoms contains free electrons in metals, and those free electrons, when you increase their potential at one point, they can be able to move and conduct electricity. So for gases and most liquids which does not conduct electricity and also solid nonmetals, in insulators we also have solid nonmetals, solid nonmetals, they don't have free electrons which can move and conduct electricity. We are going to discuss more about this in a topic in form for the last topic called uh, electronics. That is the last topic. We are going to see why metals conduct electricity why and metals does not conduct electricity again we have substances whose electrical conductivity is in between that one of solids and insulators so it means they only conduct electricity at some extent but what we are going to realize that is if you increase the temperature of these substances their electrical conductivity is also going to increase so these materials which electrical conductivity lies between that of metals and non-metals we call them semiconductors and examples are silicon and germanium and we are going to discuss them in a topic in form four so here we will discuss a topic a whole topic in form four and we are going to see how can we make these semiconductors conduct electricity just like other metals so that one we will discuss later so the second category of materials that we have is insulators and insulators these are materials that do not allow the flow of electric current through them and a good example in this case these are non metals all non metals don't conduct electricity except graphite it's only graphite which is a non metal and can conduct electricity and we are going to discuss more about this in chemistry but in simple terms, graphite conducts electricity because it has free electrons. But all other nonmetals like plastic, paper, rubber, we have wood, we have wood, and all other materials don't conduct electricity, including gases. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss current as the rate of flow of charges. And then we are going to do some numerical examples on current. And then later we will talk about the simple circuit.